Hello and welcome in our demonstration of Testwell CTC++ Test Coverage Analyzer from VerifySoft. Testwell CTC++ Test Coverage Analyzer for C, C++, C Sharp and Java is a powerful and easy to use code test coverage tool, which shows the parts of the code which has been executed and then tested. Testwell CTC++ can be used on host for native projects. Please refer to our other video describing our integration within the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE for more information. If you look for an efficient and easy to use solution for your IT projects, Testwell CTC++ is your base choice. But today, we will see how it can be used for measuring code coverage in embedded targets and microcontrollers. Its main benefits are very low instrumentation overhead, performs code coverage in all targets, it works even with small targets and microcontrollers and works with all compilers and cross-compilers. We'll see how your code can be instrumented for analyzing its test coverage from within an IDE such as the Integrated Development Environment Eclipse. Take uh, the regular C and uh, either files uh, in order to compile and link. But here in the process we have the instrumentation phase and this is done automatically by uh, the uh, integration within the IDE, all grey blue parts so, uh, are used by uh, our integration to generate the simul file. Uh, let's go to a demonstration now. For this, we will launch uh, Eclipse with the CDT uh, plugin, which is used to uh, compile and link uh, C and C++ uh, source files. Uh, we use uh, today a very simple example called the prime, uh, which goal is to report if a number is a prime or not. In this project, we just have some C source files and either files used uh, to get this application. The integration in uh, Eclipse for Testwell CTC++ consists of two menus. The first one is used uh, to set up the integration uh, of the uh, instrumentation of the code uh, within the project on or off. So you can simply select if the tools will use normal builds, that means without using at all uh, CTC++, or put in the loop uh, the um, instrumentation that uh, CTC will provide at all counters and uh, measurement uh, tools in order to have the coverage information back. And then you can decide which kind of instrumentation you want to apply uh, to your uh, project. So here we'll use the multi-condition coverage. So now all builds will be made using the CTC++ uh, instrumentation. So we can use now uh, the, the tools the way uh, you, you used to, I mean by using uh, the build uh, um, menu, you will be able to uh, compile, link and uh, finally get uh, the, the binary of your application and run it, debug it uh, with uh, the full uh, features of, uh, of Eclipse. Let's do it. So now what we get in this uh, debug uh, folder, as expected, we get uh, the object files and the binary, the executable. Here, this is just uh, a binary um, executable for Windows, but of course, we can get uh, uh, binary X files uh, to, to be downloaded on targets if you use a cross compiler such as GNU or, or many others. But here for the demo, we use a Windows compatible uh, compiler. So, next to these uh, objects and executable files, we now have a mon.sim file, which is uh, a symbolic information for uh, the analysis that uh, CTC has made over your project and will be used to count uh, uh, the, the paths and the conditions, uh, everything that your program will be exercised by the unit testing. So about unit testing now, what we need to do, of course, is to debug our application and uh, try to get the best uh, uh, TER, which is a test effectiveness ratio over the uh, application. And uh, of course, achieving 100% coverage will be, uh, will be great. 
So let's just run uh, the prime.exe uh, uh, application. So you just need to put a number and then uh, the program will say if it's a prime or not. Oh, yes, it's a prime number. And then you can put other entries if you want. And in order to uh, end uh, the program, just press uh, zero. So now what I would like to, uh, to understand um, based on the, the, the results of, of, of CTC is uh, if uh, the coverage uh, is enough or not. So what you can do now is just use the second menu uh, called CTC++ report where you can select the kind of report you want to achieve. So it could be a simple text information, raw information, XML uh, in order to be compatible with uh, uh, Word um, tools. With any report, to are able to uh, use XML, uh, which is a very uh, standard file uh, within, or HTML. And in this case, HTML will be used to produce this report and can be launched in any internet browser you have on your uh, laptop. And uh, here you can also select the, the way the report will be uh, will appear. And uh, for, for this, I will use MCDC uh, coverage to be compatible with the option I've chosen uh, before uh, for the uh, uh, coverage information. So by default, we just generate the HTML report and invoke uh, the uh, HTML browser uh, in this case, it's the uh, latest Windows 10 uh, browser. And as you can see, you have various informations available here. Uh, for instance, the function summaries. And you can see uh, inside your program all information. And for instance, the untested code or a, a summary. And uh, as you can see, uh, my test was not so good because uh, the uh, global uh, test effectiveness ratio uh, is only 68% for MCDC and 88% uh, globally, uh, depending on the measurement I'm, uh, I'm doing. So for sure you can improve it. And in order to improve it, uh, the, the best way is to uh, let CTC help you to uh, mention which uh, test case uh, are, are needed in order to go uh, further. And uh, in this case, you can also have some helps to produce uh, MCDC pair um, wise of um, all your vectors or test vectors and you you can see that uh, information is highlighted each time I'm um, overlapping uh, the information so that means uh, in this case I could use uh, for condition one uh, use a vector one and four which are in yellow here uh, so the first one with the uh, val equal to to one at true and any other condition for val equal equal two and val equal equal three and for uh, the uh, vector number four we just need to put everything at false and then if we um, make such a change we should be able to increase our uh, test effectiveness ratio so this is the end of our presentation and demonstration thank you for attending if you are interested in getting more details, please visit our website, verifysat.com, where you can get all information about our products, technical description, brochures, papers, videos, and many more material. Feel free to ask us for our free evaluation. Goodbye and thank you.